This is Professor Shubhrajit Biswas from Amity Institute of Molecular Medicine and Stem Cell Research. Working as a director, having long-term expertise on molecular medicine, stem cells, cancer biology, therapeutics, and preclinical studies. Today, I want to share one important step of the as a scientific advisor regarding one nutrient products, how it works in vitro as well as the next step preclinical study. Yes, first I want to congratulate Dr. Rajdeep Datta, R&D Veritas, Dr. Gautam Kar, my elder brother working long time in the clinics for their publication in Journal of Drug Discovery and Therapeutics regarding the potentiality of the immunosan. Here let me explain shortly how we perform the proof of principle for the efficacy of any nutrient products. Immunosan. By name is immunity which maintain the immunity in our body and xanth the terminology came from the xanthine oxidase. Next what is the situation in the disease condition every day we are facing with hypertension, cancer, arthritis, pain, cardiac disorders etc. In most of the cases one of the major characteristics matter is called oxidative stress. Now what is the oxidative stress? In advanced disease condition, reactive oxygen species create an issues, mean unexpected free radicals. Even it comes under the hypoxic condition, means less oxygen level. So we have to reduce reactive oxygen species. In this publication, Dr. Rajdeep Dr. and Dr. Gautam Kar showed how the immunosan reduce the reactive oxygen species and acting as an antioxidant. First, they isolated the all active compounds from the immunosan. How those active compounds binds to the proteins? Now, I'm not briefing whole papers, but xanthine oxidase, lipoxygenes, NADPH oxidase are the few major enzymes which help to create more reactive oxygen species. We have to inhibit those enzymes. Enzymes are the protein molecules, protein made up of amino acids, amino acids made the peptides. Now, Renata scientists do the in silico analysis where they have shown how those active molecules from the immunosans, ambicalin, vitamin C, cyanidin, glucoside, etc., are binding to those active side of the enzymes. It is called also the ligand binding. And how those active compounds binding to the enzyme are those active enzymes become inactivated? This is the way. The in vitro works by different in vitro assay. They have shown that those active compounds or molecules are reducing the enzymatic activities. It is not the aim. The scientists are also assaying the activity in the human cell. This is called in vitro animal cell culture. And what are the toxicity effect of the cancer cells, but not in the primary cells to reduce the side effect. We are going far away to analysis directly in the patients where they are suffering in cancer, arthritis, hypertension, liver disease, kidney failure, other lifestyle diseases. Those are studies, those studies are called the in vivo studies or clinical studies. Thank you very much. So this is the update from today. Bye.